Hi everybody. Just wanted to check in and give you guys an update on where things stand. I know some of you are probably expecting this to be about injections and starting stims. However, we are not there yet. After my ultrasound on Friday with the doctor and blood work that was done, that follicle that I had at my previous ultrasound had doubled in size and they were hoping that that would just mean that it was like a cyst, it was an empty follicle that was growing and it wouldn't be producing any hormones which could then affect my cycle because ultimately your body will listen to the hormones being produced by those follicles over any kind of stimulation hormones that I would inject. And Friday late afternoon, I got my blood results back and it, it is a real follicle producing real hormones. So basically we can't start IVF yet. So Friday night, Adam had to inject me with a trigger shot of HCG to make that follicle ovulate. Um, since I had been on birth control, even though it didn't work clearly, um, to kind of get my body, um, we had to do the trigger shot in order to make my body ovulate that follicle, that egg. So once that egg is ovulated, then about two weeks I should have a regular period and start all over again with everything. So it's a little frustrating to be waiting. Um, you know, I think we, I talked about this previously that it's, it's waiting. It's lots of waiting, different waiting games, waiting for this, waiting for that, waiting for tests, waiting for ultrasounds, waiting for blood work. So more waiting. And that's about it. Hopefully when I do start my next cycle and I have day one, I can call them, tell them, and I can get in for an ultrasound by cycle day two or three. And if everything is quiet and normal, then hopefully I should just be able to start the stims right away and not have to go back on birth control. Um, but that'll be up to the doctor uh, at that time based off of what they see on the ultrasound. So that's kind of what we're hoping for. I really hope that's what happens because it would be nice to kind of get a move on with things <laughs> and get going. Um, but so we'll see. It's two weeks of waiting and then another ultrasound to see if maybe we can start. And that's about it.